I have been making videos about local voice assistant with home assistant, starting with an ESP32 device with open wake word, then with an ESP32 S3 with on device wake word, and then finally we have the voice assistant preview edition launched by home assistant. But one thing that is common is the speech to text component that is whisper. It uses quite some resources depending on the model that you choose and also if you want more accurate detection then you have to go for a higher model and the higher the model you choose the more time and resource it needs. Now I have been using the medium int 8 model all this while which is able to convert speech to text in about 3 seconds with a pretty positive detection rate I would say about 90% of the time. And the 3 seconds time is because I'm running home assistant on a mini PC. But I guess like me, you must have started your home assistant journey on a Raspberry Pi, which is very much less powerful than a mini PC. Now, because of the speech to text conversion, which requires a more powerful hardware, should we move to a mini PC? I would say not yet. We still have some hope with this Raspi speech add-on. This add-on is available in Home Assistant add-on store that you can search and install it. Once you start the add-on, you get this UI to train your commonly said sentences. Now, the concept behind this add-on is that it tries to match your speech to the inbuilt sentences that we commonly ask our voice assistant. Like take for example, turn on the light, what is the time, what is the temperature in your room, etc. If you see here in the intent section, you will find all the devices that are integrated in your home assistant. Now on clicking the train button, it trains itself on the common sentences that it can get from home assistant. Now in addition to this, you can also provide your own custom sentences based on this YAML format for this add-on to recognize. Once you have trained this add-on, make sure that you integrate this add-on using the Wyoming integration so that Home Assistant can start using it. Then in your voice assistant pipeline, change the speech to text to now start using the raspy speech. Now with this, let's test this. Okay, Nabu, turn on the light. Turn on the switch. If you see here, it recognized my phrase just under one second and the fun part here is that I'm running this on a Raspberry Pi 4. Yes, this means you can use your Raspberry Pi 4 for running Home Assistant and also your Voice Assistant. But if you are an advanced user of Home Assistant, I would still recommend you to at least use a Raspberry Pi 5 or something higher like a mini PC. Now I have been using this for about 15 days and as per my experience, I would say it recognized my sentences positively at least about 80% of the time, which is a bit lower compared to my Whisper add-on. But because of the speed of recognition being under and about one second, I had a better experience using my voice assistant and I have completely moved to using raspy speech instead of Whisper. Now remember, if you are using an AI agent, then this add-on will not help you as you might want to ask custom sentences that may not be trained in this add-on. But remember, you can always add custom sentences and train this add-on. Now, if you are running Home Assistant OS, then you can run this from the add-on store. But if you are running Home Assistant as a container like me, then you can also run this add-on as a container. Now when you run the container version, you don't get the UI to train the sentences. When you start the container, it automatically pulls the common intents and devices from Home Assistant and trains itself on startup. This also means that if you have added a new device or changed the alias of the device, you will have to restart the container so that it picks up the new names and the new device. Now I have provided a docker compose definition to run this add-on in the article that I have linked into the description below. Now let me know what do you think about this add-on and if you have got something better than the raspy speech add-on. Also make sure to subscribe to this channel to see more such videos to come. Till then take care and I will see you in my next one.